On October 23, 2024, during a press conference, U.S. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby confirmed the deployment of 3,000 North Korean soldiers to eastern Russia. These troops traveled by ship from Wonsan, North Korea, to Vladivostok, a major port in eastern Russia, where they were subsequently transferred to various military training centers for intensive training. The ultimate destination of these North Korean soldiers remains uncertain. However, analysts suggest a high likelihood that they will join Russian forces on the Ukrainian front. The prospect of these troops engaging in combat alongside Russian soldiers has raised alarms about potential escalations in the ongoing war in Ukraine. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin described this development as a serious step, especially following North Korea's prior arms supplies to Russia. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the conflict has intensified, leading to substantial casualties on both sides, with a concentrated focus on the Eastern Front. The introduction of North Korean soldiers into this already volatile mix could represent a significant shift in the dynamics of the war. The U.S. government is actively monitoring the situation, keeping Ukrainian authorities and international partners informed. Kirby emphasized that if these North Korean soldiers were to enter combat, they would become legitimate targets for Ukrainian forces. The deployment signals a worrying trend for many observers, who view it as a sign of weakness on the part of the Kremlin. This reliance on North Korea, a largely isolated state on the global stage, highlights Russia's precarious position after more than two years of conflict and its increasing dependence on marginal alliances amid rising battlefield losses. Additionally, the South Korean government has voiced concerns regarding the military technology that Russia may offer North Korea in exchange for this military support. Some experts speculate that Moscow could provide advanced military technologies to Pyongyang, particularly in the domains of nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles. Such an exchange would significantly heighten the threat North Korea poses to the Korean Peninsula and East Asia. South Korea's National Intelligence Service has warned that this deployment could potentially expand to include up to 10,000 North Korean soldiers by the end of the year. Despite official denials from both Moscow and Pyongyang about troop deployments or arms transfers, the growing military alliance between Russia and North Korea is viewed as a significant concern by the international community, especially NATO. In light of these developments, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol has been invited to Brussels to share intelligence with NATO, underlining the urgency of addressing this evolving geopolitical landscape. As the situation unfolds, the implications of this military collaboration between Russia and North Korea will likely resonate beyond the battlefield, impacting regional stability and international relations. Music